for us through many years. There are two characteristics that I found that made Dorothy Malter the person she was. And that was her love and care for those who were in need and for visitors and her hospitality. And it was her love for God's created beauty in which we are in the midst of. Dorothy served and was dedicated to the care of others as was evidenced by her schooling as a nurse in Chicago. When she came here, her care and her concern continued, helping those who were in trouble, inviting those in who needed help, caring for those who were hurt and sick and injured, and simply being here in case we needed her. There was always coffee on, a bottle of root beer, a smile, and a place to rest. And indeed, we will miss her. Many people took refuge in her cabin when the weather was bad to travel, and always Dorothy invited them in and allowed them to stay. All of us here, in one way or another, have known her hospitality and her friendship. And in some way, our lives have been changed by her in ways that words cannot fully express. And indeed, that was a mark of a truly great lady. To serve others unselfishly, giving whatever is needed to a weary traveler or person in need, to welcome anyone who knocks at her door, and to do all this without complaint and without a thought of being rewarded with money, but just with a simple, a simple thank you, is a mark of a true child of God. The other characteristic that I found that marked Dorothy as a child of God was her love for his created beauty. No one can spend as much time as she had in the midst of God's creation and not know and not be aware of God's presence. For you see, it's out of his love for us that he gave us such beauty to enjoy. St. Augustine wrote a poem about how creation bear witness to the presence of God. And I would like to read that for you. It's called, The Beauty of Creation Bears Witness to God. Question the beauty of the earth, the beauty of the sea, the beauty of the wide air around you, the beauty of the sky. Question the order of the stars, the sun whose brightness lights the day, the moon whose splendor softens the gloom of night. Question the living creatures that move in the waters, that roll upon the earth, that fly through the air, the spirit that lies hidden, and the matter that is manifest. The visible things that are ruled, the invisible things that rule them. Question all these, and they will answer you. Behold and see, we are beautiful. Their beauty is their confession of God, who made these beautiful changing things, if not one who is beautiful and changeth not. This is the beauty which Dorothy was immersed in, and thus immersed in God. This is the beauty off of which Dorothy lived, and so lived with God. This is the beauty in which Dorothy died, and so she died with her God at her side, and now she lives with him. On Dorothy's funeral card, there is a poem by Alfred, Lord Alfred Tennyson called Crossing the Bar. Sunset and evening star, and one clear call for me. And may there be no morning of the bar when I put out to sea. But such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and foam, when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home. Twilight and evening bell, and after, the, after that the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our barn of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed that bar. So don't mourn for Dorothy. She lived as she wanted to live, and a life that God had called her to, and indeed ordained her for. Don't mourn the loss of Dorothy, but rather rejoice and give thanks to God for the gift that she was to all of us and many thousands more. 
give thanks to God for her life and her service and her hospitality, her love of nature and her indomitable spirit, her spirit that lives on in us who will always remember her. And as we retell her story to the future generations, Dorothy's spirit will continue to live on in the memory shared by all who knew her. For you, for you see, as Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall, they shall be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for holiness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God.